Greetings Green Thumb Gardening family Alain Alish back at you from right here at the Green Thumb Gardening channel And in tonight's episode of Greenhouse Confessions As I pan this camera around our greenhouse You guys are going to notice that our greenhouse looks sparse It looks bare There's very few things in our greenhouse here at all and that's because we lost about 60% of our inventory to the recent Arctic cold front that passed through our area. That's right, Green Thumb Garden family. We lost about 60% of our inventory to that cold weather. That's simply because we're in the, trend, in the process of um, getting settled into our new location here. We still have tons of boxes in our house that we haven't even begun to unpack. And the cold weather simply did not allow us to get out here in assemble our greenhouse and get it set up until today that's right we're just getting able to out here today to get our greenhouse assembled and get all of our plants and racks moved in here and again we lost about 60 percent of our inventory what you guys and gals currently watching this video would normally see in our greenhouse around this time of year you guys know that we would have both fruits and vegetables growing in our greenhouse where we have our propagation table set up and our greenhouse will be stuffed with plants in every corner nook and cranny and it's not that way here right now but because again we just the weather just warmed up enough today for us to be able to get out here get our greenhouse uh, uh reassembled get the poly cover on it get a tarp laid down here on the inside for a floor get our plants flowers and fruit trees that we were able to save from the recent arctic cold front that passed through our area from killing safely inside of our greenhouse here and set up on these racks so over the next 30 to 60 days what we'll mostly be doing is propagating cuttings germinating seeds etc 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 in order to replenish our inventory in order to have something to sell in our nursery uh once spring rolls around here uh most of you guys and gals out there know that fig trees unless the, the frost is very 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 significant and it lasts forever and ever and ever fig trees simply go into dormancy so our fig tree didn't suffer that much but everything else including our citrus trees simply couldn't take it our pineapple plants, we had about a dozen of those. We have about two left that really didn't get um, affected too much by the cold. We have a couple of babies over there in that corner over there. Um, our mango tree, our coffee tree, our um, avocado tree. We had these uh, three trees on the inside of our house. We weren't taking any chances at all on losing these three plants. Our uh, peach tree also. It got affected by the cold, but not as much as we um, expected that it would. And it's bouncing back already, already putting on new foliage. So we're happy about that. We were able to save one raspberry um, plant, one of our ever-bearing ever raspberry uh, plants. We have one fig tree that we did have on the inside. Our DSJG fig cutting. And she's looking fantastic. No damage at all because, again, she was on the inside of our house. But, again, as I pan this camera around our greenhouse... Our confession for the night is that we lost about 60% of our inventory to the recent Arctic cold front that passed through our area. Again, over the next 30 to 60 days, we'll spend all of that time out here. We'll get our propagation table set up here in the center, two or three tables, and we'll spend that entire next two months growing only here inside of our greenhouse. Although warmer temperatures have uh, begun to return to our area already, we will spend the next two maybe even three months growing uh, predominantly here inside of our high total greenhouse and we'll be bringing you videos from here inside of our greenhouse as well. Thanks for watching and if and if you currently are watching this video on our first episode of Greenhouse Confessions from here in our new location and you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumb Gardening channel, please indeed take this moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button and be sure Green Thumb Gardening family be sure, be sure, be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Thanks for watching.